Hello and welcome to this crochet tutorial on how to make this versatile bag. As you can see here, it can be used as a handbag. Or, as you can see here, it can be used as a backpack. Come join me as we take this adventure on making this bag using the planned pooling concept but with two separate colored yarns. Come on, let's get started. This is a portion of the design that we're going to use. As you can see here, there is numbers and it has an arrow. You'll notice that all odd rows will be read from the right to the left. On the other side, you'll see even number rows. They will be read from the left to the right. So basically the opposite. You may wonder, why are we reading them this way? Well, at the beginning of this row will be the ending of the same row. Each row has 10 stitches of each color. So if this row starts with two, it will end with eight. If it starts with six, it will end with four, and so on and so on. So what I did was I wanted to make this as simple and as easy as possible so that way as you see this you may say hmm it's from an idea with the plan pooling but we're not doing plan pooling we're using two separate colors that will make it very easy to have the impression of plan pooling and with the variegated yarn that we're going to be using it will give a distinct look. The counter that I showed you will help you to remember what row you're on. After you've completed the 10 rows, you'll notice that row 11 starts in a different color as compared to row 1. So basically you'll be doing the same thing. As this one ends, change this to yellow or to you know the coloring would be of the of the next one and then you would start off with the same numbers so I'll show you how to do this step by step and I think you're gonna find it's gonna be very easy uh, we're gonna begin with the base which will be the bottom of our backpack so let's get our yarn together with our hook and continue on what I'd like for you to do is to mark your chain two as your first of your row. Next we're going to do is a chain two and this will count as your first double crochet or half double crochet in the pattern. Um, And then moving on, let's place nine more half double crochets into the next nine stitches. Bringing our second color, our variegated, in, let's pull out some. And here we're just going to place a simple overhand knot and tie it. And if you really want to, we can make a square knot out of it. Okay, and bring it close. Now, in the changing of these two colors, we will not, uh, on the tenth stitch, we will not do halfway. We will automatically go into our next stitch. 
Also, while we carry our colors, all carry colors will be on the inside of the bag. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick up our second color, make the loop or the knot close to the end of that stitch, yarn over, and in the next stitch, and also bringing the purple from uh, your first 10 stitches, let's complete a half double crochet. You will be carrying your yarn through each color so that you can have it when you get to the next point. So here we're going to do 10 half double crochets of our second color. I have five, continue on with five more. So now at the end of the 10th half double crochet, take your second color and put it to the back, pick up your dark color or your solid color and bring the variegated yarn close to the back of the stitch. Yarn over and complete a half double crochet. Do this for 10 stitches. At the end of the 10 stitches, you're going to want to change back to the variegated. What we will do is 10 solid, 10 variegated, all the way around. When you get to the end of the row, I will show you how to finish it and how to start the second row and introduce the graph that we had already discussed. So did you have fun doing it? It's quite a journey, wasn't it? So take the dark color, place it in the back with the green. We're going to go to the top of the chain two and slip stitch. Okay, then turn your work. Now all your yarn is now here in the center. And as we do stitches coming back this way, your yarn will be in the front of your work. Okay, so let's pull out our pattern. Now, what I want to show you, hang on, let me, let me put my screen up bigger. I'm sorry, I inconvenienced you there for a second. But what I wanted to show you was, remember how I said we did 10 of one color, 10 of another color. So I know you're thinking this is a planned pooling graph. Yes, it is. But I've changed it so that it can be circular. Normally in planned pooling, you would stop at the ninth color and work your way up, and that'll offset the color. But what we're doing is we're doing two separate yarns kind of doing like a mochilla or you know the way you uh, bags so we're going to be carrying colors doing the half double crochet stitch so now that we've completed row one let's get out our little clicker and identify that we completed row one now if you want to click saying that we want to do row two Let's go on to row two. Row two now is saying that you're going to be going backwards. Now notice the color change right here. We have two colors that's going to be of the same. So this right here is our red color here. So we want to do two half double crochet stitches in this process. Now instead of doing chains, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size of that slip knot, the loop on our hook. We're going to carry our dark color across. We're going to yarn over. Now this first place right here is not a stitch. That's our slip stitch. That is not our stitch. 
this one right here is our stitch and what we're going to do is we're going to go below this bottom loop and the top two loops so that way it'll compress it down and it won't look like it's stretched out as we use our backpack so with the yarn of our hook our longer loop only at the beginning of this row we're going to go right down in between the two stitches pull up a loop and complete our half double crochet we have one let's do our second one here's our next loop and here we've completed two we look on our back side we'll see that we have our two right here and it looks just like our pattern here okay now the rest of the row we're going to be doing 10 10 10 10 10 you know of each color alternating colors when you get to the end of this row you'll see here we have eight okay are you catching on so this is 10 so if you were doing 10 10 10 10 10 well here's the end of the row we have eight and with this eight and two you'll see at the end of the row that will make 10. so i'm going to change color i'm going to put the green well my variegated in front yarn over and i'm going to go under that bottom loop and carry my variegated with me and I'm going to do 10 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Now you're going to see that we're going to be changing colors here pretty soon. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Now we're going to drop our purple down. We're going to pick up our variegated, and we're going to do ten. So yarn over, one, okay, you get the idea, keep on doing 10 of the variegated, 10 of the solid, when you get back here, I'll meet you there, and you should be able to complete 8 half double crochets. So we have the 8 left to do. So I have here's one, two, three, four, five, six. seven and eight and then we we'll slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet okay so you'll see here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have our total of ten all the way around so let's move on to number three and right here at number three whoops I'm all out of camera range I am so sorry right here at number three we start off with two and we know that our variegated is the red color so we're going to take our work 
and turn it again. All right, let's take our hook underneath. Oops, I was right the first time. Okay, we're gonna make our loop just a little bit longer. Remember to carry our dark color with us. And we're going to do two half double crochets, but we're not gonna do it here. No, 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 no. We're gonna do it right here. All right. So we have our little bit longer loop only at the first of the row. So yarn over and go under and then pick up the dark color, drop a loop, and through all three. There's our first, and here's our second. So if we look at our paperwork, okay, we have the two, and here we started with the two. So now the rest of this is going to be, we're changing it to the dark color now. We're going to do 10 of the dark color, 10 of the variegated, all the way around. When we end this row, we will end it with the 8 as well. So as you can see, with the first 10, you notice how we went under all those lines. So it looks like single crochets, but it's not. So continue on. When you finish this, I'm going to encourage you to use row number four. Here, this is row number three. Row number four will start with four and end with six. Okay, I think you'll be able to do this with no problem, and I think you will enjoy it. So I'm going to encourage you to do this uh, 1 through 10 repeat three or four times, whichever you choose. And I will see you in a few minutes. But one thing I am going to do is I am going to leave this picture right here so you can pause your video and have this as reference you can also screenshot this that way you can print it out and have it on paper if you need it but once you do the 1 through 10 uh, I think you'll be able to do just fine so go ahead and pause your video and I'll see you in a few minutes and we will do the upper band for the uh, closure So after 10 rows of the initial pattern, you can see the X showing the, the, the design already. Okay, and here is the beginning. So our pattern is still even all the way around. So continue on after a total of this repeat four times let's see how we're doing okay so please pause your video and continue on so after completing our pattern four times we now have this full backpack i love the colors that I chose. I hope whatever colors you chose are as amazing, amazing as well. So what we're going to do here is we need to cut the variegated and we are going to finish this one off. I am planning on using the dark color to use for our next row. Sorry about all the extra noises. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring up a loop, chain one, 
and that'll get us started on our last row. And since we need to turn, so let's turn our work. Okay, and now we're going to do one half double crochet all the way around, and we're going to do this for a total of uh, six rows. So do the half double crochet, one per stitch, join with a slip stitch to complete your row, chain one, and then start doing your half double crochet again for a total of six rows. As you can see here, I have completed a chain of 200 and I left a long tail. Here we've completed the six rows. I finished it off. Weave in your end and let's make our closure for the top of the bag. So to begin, leave a long tail of about 8 inches. Let's place our slip knot on our hook and proceed to make our chain. So here we have our center back and what we're going to do is we're going to fold on the top of this one diamond and bring it in so that it folds over to this other diamond on both sides. Alright, so you see how it tapers in and we have it folded. So count down four rows from the top and then come over to the point here and we're going to take our hook one, two, three, here's the fourth row I'm going to take our hook and bring half of our chain to the back. Okay, so we have half there. Then we're going to bring to this other point and have it come up, staying on the same row as the fourth one. Then we're going to go through all, coming over here to this other point, we're going to go through all layers, making sure everything is at the same point, all the way through by placing our hook in and bringing it back. All right, we're going to take our hook and pull it all through. And let's make sure it doesn't get twisted. Okay. This is we're only going to I'm going to show you how to do the half. You can do the other half here in just a second. So you'll notice here when we pulled up, well we're almost center top, but that's okay. So we're going to go down here. And then we're going to come up close, not to the exact center, but we're going to come up there. Okay, so when you open it, you'll have the strings and it'll help pull it close the way we want it to. Continue with the other side as what we did. And I'll show you what to do next. So your chains stitch should be just like this. Okay, 
Next we're going to do is we're going to add tassels to the end. So here you can see I have a six inch wide cutting board. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this many times until I get the fullness that I would like to have in my tassel. Then I'm going to take the end piece. I'm going to place like a half hitch, bring it all the way down to the end, and tighten it. I'm going to do that two times. The other end, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to take these two and tighten them really tight. All right. And then because they are the same length, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them in here. I'm going to take the end of my chain, that long tail, and I'm going to wrap it around. Really tight. A couple of times. Then I'm going to take the strands. I'll bring it down. I'm going to take my tail and come down and wrap around. Now you see how I have a few little stragglers here. I'm going to see if I can make them all the same length. There we go. I'm going to wrap this around. of times. Then I'm going to finish it with a half hitch. Now to be sure, I'm going to take one of these strands here it's the same color. I'm just going to tie a square knot. Or just even one knot would do. I'm going to bury it in there. I'm going to make it all come to the same length. And then I'm going to cut my ends off. I added my second tassel, so let's get ready to add on our rings. We will be placing six rings on here. So you see our diamond, and we see our other diamond. Follow the points up, and on the inside, we're going to be attaching them. So I'm going to put my first one in here. through four of my half double crochets. Now because I don't have the luxury of going to the craft store and finding carabiner rings, you have to order them online. And that's quite a process. So these split rings will open up. And then we want to go through the first row of the of our band here we want to pick up the back side 
of four stitches. Can you see me picking it up the back side? I got one more to get. See if we had those carabiner rings, it would be so much nicer. Okay, let me open this up a little bit wider. That's why it didn't go through. It got snagged on one of the stitches. Come on, one more stitch. <laughs> there we go. Now just take it and curve it around. All right. Take it off of the splits there. And there's one ring. This will go on the inside to have our closure for the top of our straps. Our second one, if you take the bag and fold it in half, and in the same location, okay, you want to come up. But this one's going to go onto the outside of our bag. So between the diamonds right here, we're going to go straight up and count down to the sixth row because you're going to find that one of these rows is part of the actual design. We want it up on the sixth row and we're going to go through four of the half double crochets doing the same process here. So we have our outside one, our inside one. Now here's the center bottom on the back. You'll notice that it goes straight before it starts to curve. We want to come in just above and into the back of those um, back post double crochets. We're going to pick up four of them and they're going to go on the outside above your chain stitch here and just right here where the corner starts to curve. So we want to pick up right through here. So for me to go ahead and get to that point, I'm going to stick my hand inside the bag and here's our curve and I'm going to pick up the whole stitch. So the whole stitch is going to get onto this slip ring. Let's see, I got three, one more. There we go. All right. So we have the three for this side on. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll start on our straps. Now to do our straps, we need two strands of yarn. So I'm going to go from the center pull and from around the outside. All right, And I'm going to leave a very long tail of approximate, approximately 12 inches. And then let's place a slip knot on there. Okay, so to make our job easier, let's go ahead and take off a lot of yarn in double strand so that we can have even tension and then get started on our straps. So what I did is I measured a backpack that I have for the strap on it. And I've come up with 27 inches and 80 chains. So my suggestion to you is, is to find out how big the strap you need and make it according to those chains. Um, also I am a plus size so you may need less than what I have to have. Okay so 
after we get to the length that we need we're going to yarn over and we're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch till you get all the way to the end of the chain at the end of the row we're going to make our turn so at the bottom of the half double crochet there's a loop go ahead and pick it up bring your yarn through bring your yarn through then in the last chain or the the first chain go ahead and place a slip stitch in there and chain one that give us a nice flat edge here all right do not go over your tail we're going to use that to sew our strap on all right and then continue with half double crochets on the other side of this foundation chain continue all the way down to the other end at the end of the row we're going to do like we did before pick up that bottom loop of our half double crochet and just do a slip stitch you want to make it loose so we can bring it down and then the chain from the other side will go under both of those and do another loose slip stitch you can see I drop my loops okay so that'll put us right here into the center of our strap here so we're going to go down and we're going to keep our yarn on the bottom we're going to pull it up and we're going to complete a slip stitch now remember to keep this top loose top loop loose <laughs> it's a tongue twister there when you move into your next stitch so here we have our two half double crochets we're going to go through there bring over our yarn pull it up and then pull it through that loop and remember to keep that loop loose we're going to continue on here and you can see how we have this nice little chain stitch going right down the center oops make sure you pick up both loops there we go okay so continue on with that once you finish this at the other end you'll notice that we'll have our tail <laughs> we're going to sew these on to our um, our rings on our bag so don't cut any yarn when you get to the end so you ready to sew on the straps we're going to take all four of these strands here and put it onto our sewing needle yes I did it in one shot <laughs> all right so we're going to take the braid that's on the front and leave it on the top and take our hook and bring it towards the top of the bag and then we're going to take our needle and go through the hole and we're going to bring the strap back and we're going to fold it over just a tiny bit and then do a whip stitch to hold it down here in place so go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how we're going to use the second and then the top ring 
So with our bottom loop sewn, we're going to go through this ring. Then we're going to come across to this ring. And you're going to take the top piece and insert it down. And then fold it back just a little bit and stitch it right into place. So it will crisscross in the center of the bag. So here is the back side. As you can see, I have the straps crisscrossed up here on the top. So when you're ready to use it as a backpack, you pull it through the rings and you can place the straps onto your back. If you would like to use it as a regular carry purse or carry bag, you can loosen the straps up to the rings and carry it as a bag. I hope you enjoyed the making of this bag. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So thank you for joining me at this time. Come back again. Let's see what other things we can crochet. Till then. Bye-bye.